Hi, big boy. Get here. Yeah, I'm in the living room. Son, that hair right there, that's business in the front, party in the back. It's like, hey, let me borrow your daddy for a minute. We're going to go outside and party for a second. Brother, this hair right here is like a county road. He can handle the serious business of the city or the wild parties of the countryside, brother. Thank you. Hell yeah, man. This is really exciting, man. But listen, I do believe in communication, so I want to talk to him to go over some ground rules real quick so we just got smooth sailing, you know? All right. You came on with the rules and conditions. Hit me with it. All right, man. Uh, Like closed doors and stuff. If I'm behind a closed door and it's not open, don't come in there until you communicate with me, brother. It was a money shot. Yeah, brother, absolutely. Everybody has their little private time, you know? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just shooting the shit, brother. I respect all of your privacy. When you got your little VR headset on and shit and your shit back in the recliner, I'll just go do something else. Ain't no big deal. I've been here before. Yeah, brother. All right, man. The bills. Listen, brother. Just you're starting to stress me out a little bit. I've got the bills covered, and I'm gonna tell you, as a spare tire. Do you like spare tires? I know you would. I've got a backup plan if money does get tight. All right. I, I understand. Uh, you said a backup plan, though. Just because I do like communication, what is that? Well, here, brother. I've got a medication that's in high demand. Let's just call them nanners. If times get tight, I'll go to the little nanner lunchbox and I'll make sure we're good. I'll make sure we're... Listen, don't even worry about it. All right. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I was blindsided by that one a little bit. But let, let, listen, man, let's just avoid that situation altogether, man. I mean, shit's been real smooth for me, man. Money's a little tight. And, uh, I, you know, you need a spot to get back on your feet and stuff, man. And, uh, and hell, I think it's going to be good. Little Lonnie, you're a good dude, and I just want to let you know that you now got a personal guide through life to take you through some wild shit, brother, and come out on the other side and make sure you're all right. Thank you, brother, for understanding that. Man, me casa, su casa, make yourself at home, my friend. I'm looking forward to the ride.